coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in. Hey man, shout out to everybody out there on Team Bendy Pound, man. I appreciate the love. Bah, 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 bah. Boom. I appreciate the support, man. We out here. 33 years of prison stories, man. I'm out here. I'm on the road trying to put this video together. Got everybody who went to get some breakfast, so stay back trying to sit here and put this thing together for y'all. Man, I'm going to jump straight to it because I ain't got that much time. I'm just going to give y'all a quick story from something that somebody said this morning. Um, Shout out to the dude that said something this morning about a new institution. And he was talking about River North. Tink, my man said, Tink said that uh he had a little homie that was up there at River North. Well, let me tell you something. I broke River North in. I got there with the first hundred people, right? Now, this is the thing about going on a new institution. When you go on a new institution, man, they is sticklers and uh, crazy about these new rules because they trying to impose their will on you. They trying to let you know who is in charge, who got the power, you understand? So it be crazy, you know, they be going overboard, they, they be overkill. You know, they take all your property, they took all of our property off the rip. And you don't even get to be there with your property. Normally when you first go on, on a new institution, when I first got on, when I first got to prison and you get transferred, you go straight to the uh, to, to the uh, 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 property department and they, they go through your property right there. They tell you what you can have and what you can't have. You know what I'm saying? On some institutions, they call you down there, like Powhatan, I believe. They call you down there, and they separate your property right there in front of you, let you know this is unauthorized, this is authorized. They do all of that, right? And you be going off because they be taking a lot of stuff from you, especially Powhatan. Powhatan has some time foolery with them. I, I'll tell you all that story one day. The whole property department ended up was doing some, some illegal stuff. But... River North, being that it was a new institution, they was doing crazy stuff too. They would take your property and separate everything, take everything out of your property before you ever even got it. When they bring you your property a couple of weeks later, they done took everything out of there. So you don't know what's missing and what's not missing. You look at it and you be like, man, my stuff gone, man, this gone or that's missing. Or something. You be like, what's going on? You understand? So that's what they was doing, which was crazy because you have to go through each and every, if you had a lot of property and you've been, you know, doing time like me and you got a lot of property, you have to look at all of that stuff, man, and be wondering what's missing and what's not. Man, they took books and everything from me, man, you know, like books that they didn't want you to have, you know, books that they considered that was, you know, against the system or something, you know. So they did a lot of that. They took a lot of old pictures. They tried to make you send pictures home that you had that you was able to receive through the regular and the legal mail. I mean, it, it just was, it was a lot, man. It, it'll have you on edge. It'll be putting you to the point where you ready to snap out. But you gotta be able to outthink them, man, because they be coming at you with a, a bunch of foolishness. And um, and then the dudes, man, the dudes be trying to, you know, they bring a lot of new dudes that's coming in the system to a new prison. They bring them there, you understand? And because it's new and they trying to fill up these beds. So you end up getting in a lot of situations with these young dudes that don't know how to do time. They just coming in the penitentiary. They trying to prove themselves. You end up having to bust them up, put hands on them. You know they ain't got no Bethlehem. This is a brand new prison. They just coming in. So it's all about this. So if you don't know how to use these, you all back anyway. You know, so, uh, you know, <laughs> if you know how to fight, you good on a new institution because the, the Bethlehem play is going to be almost obsolete. Because ain't nobody been there, ain't nobody had time to make nothing. You're not coming there with nothing. If you think you're coming to a new institution with that Bethlehem, they're going to script search you leaving the prison you, 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 you're leaving. They're going to script search you coming in the prison that you're coming into. They're going through every bit of your property. So the chances of you having a Bethlehem is almost impossible. Unless you can swallow it <laughs> and poop it out, which I doubt you can do that. So... All you got to worry about really on a new institution, I'm talking when I say new, not like you going to a, new, a, a, a different prison. I'm talking about a prison that's just open. It ain't got nobody else on it. This is what I'm talking about with River North. I broke in a couple of prisons that was new. Sussex 2, I was with the first 50, 50 people that was on there. Uh, River North, I was with the first 100 people that was on there. So a prison like that, you ain't really got to worry about Bethlehem play until after the prison probably been open about a year. After a year... 
a dude done found his way to get to Bethlehem. He done found his way to make them, and they floating around. But before then, it ain't really too much of that going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, because, like I say, it's new. So all you got to do is worry about these. But you could get jumped, though. They'll jump you. You know, them youngers will jump you. Them gangs will jump you. So, you know, yeah, you get to, and you get to bust a dude up. You, <laughs> you can snatch him in the cell, put hands on him, and probably get away with it. But on these new institutions like this, too, if they catch you fighting, like especially up there in the mountains, like River North and Wallace Ridge, Red Onion, they're going to shoot you, dog. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to let the dog bite you. So your best bet is to grab somebody, snatch them in the cell, put your hands on them, go ahead and do what you got to do, kick them on up out of the cell. Yeah, I had to do that to a couple of little youngs, but I ain't go all out and try to hurt them because I knew that they knew not what they was doing. You understand? I could have been like the average dude that's doing time and been doing time, ain't got time for that. He'd go ahead and put that work in on, get his frustration off, do what he want to do to them just because them dudes got in their way. These youngers don't be knowing that. They don't understand that. They don't realize that, man. This is a dangerous place if you're in. You're in the penitentiary. All games is, is off the board. You understand? But with a new institution, man, you got to learn all that stuff. You got to understand that this is what you're going through. This is what you're dealing with. It's not you against him. It's not me against you. It's us against this administration, man, because the administration is going to try to drag you, you know, and like I say, the thing about River North, or the, the, the only good thing about brand new prisons that's just opening is the fact that they're going to try to follow the rules and the regulations as far as what you're supposed to have. They're going to give you the things you're supposed to have because they're going to still have big hats coming in. That means people from Richmond, people that run the whole DOC system. They're going to be coming back and forth looking at the prison, so they may pop up at any time. So during that time, they're going to be in, they're gonna be in compliance. Meaning like the food that we eat, we're going to be getting the food that we're supposed to eat, man. We was eating so good on uh, River North, man. It was probably like the first time I was going up in the kitchen, man, for, for decades, man. Because dudes just kept telling me. I wasn't even going at first. Dudes said, man, they had fried chicken over, man. They had no fried chicken. Man, I'm telling you, man, they had real hamburgers over there. Man, they got real beef hot dogs over there. So you thinking, man, right. Man, breakfast, they had pancakes, fried eggs, and real bacon. And I'd be like, man, get out of here. So I started going over there, and it was it was true. They was having bomb meals, you know, three times a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner because they was under pressure. You know, like I say, but once you stay there long enough, that's going to start fading off because the people from Richmond, the, the, the DOC administration, they're going to stop coming in there now because they just come in to check and see how the prison is running. But once they start fading away, so do all of the, uh, uh, what is, what's it called, amenities. All of that start going too. The food start getting lower quality, start getting less and less. You know, we was eating food, man. They was getting food donated from, like, local restaurants and stuff. So we eating actually Hardee's or, or, or Burger King burgers. and You know what I'm saying? They might have donuts from, from a donut shop or something like that. I mean, we just was eating better than you usually eat. You know, which is supposed to be the case anyway because it's state-funded. It's state-funded stuff. But they'll take that stuff, man, and they'll transfer that over to, the, you know, the staff. And that being the staff kitchen. And the staff eat all that food. And then we start getting the bulk meat. You know what I'm saying? The, the old fruit. The, uh, the, the, the bologna. And you know what I'm saying? We start getting all of that type of stuff once it get to that type of status. But, like I said, man, it's, 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 uh, it's new. And when it's new like that, man, you got to be on your P's and Q's because of the simple fact that, you know, you're in a new place, man. You got to learn administration. You got to learn your environment. It's just like, you know, anywhere else. But like I say, it, it new joints like that, they're going to drag you too, man. They're going to drag, and they're gonna, not going to let you get up off there. Even if you got the wrong, even if you got the wrong type of, uh, if you got the wrong type of what's the name, they're not going to let you get up off there. If you, your level is messed up and you don't supposed to be there, they're not going to move you. They're going to leave you there for a year just because it's benefit to them to keep you there because it, it, it's, it's helped the institution run. So they got to keep you there. They're going to keep you there and let the institution run it, itself. They're going to tell you, well, you, you know, I'm supposed to be here. Well, you got to stay here for at least a year. We're going to put you in for a transfer. But my level say that I don't supposed to be here. Okay, but you're here. We can't transfer you right now. We got an influx of transfers going in and out. They're going to hit you with the flim flam. You know what I'm saying? Which is wrong. By right, if something happened to you on that institution, they liable for that. 
for a big lawsuit, but that's a terrible way to get a lawsuit because it's going to be at your own detriment. You understand me? So some dudes will go out and sit and, and, and pick a fight with somebody or tell somebody to bust them in the head just so they can get a lawsuit because they aren't supposed to be there. But they don't realize that the administration plays some, some, some terrible games, man. They not even going to honor that. They not going to honor it. I ain't seen nobody win them type of lawsuits at all yet, but I've seen it happen. You know what I'm saying? Dudes will purposely go get into something. Dudes will try to rumble with the police to try to get a lawsuit because they know they don't supposed to be there. And the first thing they're going to cry is, okay, yeah, I wouldn't have did this. I wouldn't even been in that position because I wasn't even supposed to be on this institution. Guess what? They don't care. You know what I'm saying? They're going to fix it up where as to where you still wrong. You know what I'm saying? So it's a crazy situation, man, to be in. It's an awkward situation to be in. You never, if, if, if you a dude that's doing time, you don't never want to really be on a brand new institution going on. You will be able to get away with a lot of stuff that you normally wouldn't get away with, but you will also have to endure a lot of stuff that you know that you wouldn't have to endure on a regular institution. You know what I'm saying? All of the staff going to be incompetent. All of the, I mean, incompetent. They're going to have some brand new people that don't know nothing. They're going to be talking to you like you're a child. When you respond, you're going to be getting bogus charges. Uh, the, the counselors don't know anything. They don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? They probably a first counselor's job. They don't know nothing about your caseload. They don't know nothing about getting you what you're supposed to have. They don't know nothing about doing your annual review. None of this type of stuff. The only people that you're going to have on the new institutions that's probably even qualified was probably going to be the wardens. And then they barely going to be there. And they ain't going to do nothing when they there anyway, but impose their will. Just give rules and regulations. Just give instructions. Most of the officers are going to be brand new, never worked in the institution before. They don't know what's going on. You could be asking them, look, what about this? Or I need this. Or I suppose I had that. They're going to be looking at you like they don't even know what you're talking about. You know? So, like I said, most of the time, dudes going to get to beefing with each other because they, they, they're irritated and they're frustrated about their situation. They're frustrated about the system. They're frustrated about the way the prison is being run. And they usually take their anger out on each other, which don't do nothing. But you know, help the administration out. You know, but that's what we be doing because we be we be we be we be out there and we ain't thinking. You know what I'm saying? We just we just try to you know push that stuff out on, you know, get it out of our system. Try to you know uh, uh, express ourselves, but we end up just hurting each other. You know, and then you, you you mess around and get a charge there. That's the first thing they do there, and then they can lock you in. They're going to lock you in to stay in there. Now, well, I'm supposed to be here. Well, now you got to charge. We're going to override your points, and now you're supposed to be here. Now, the next step is you're going back up there. It's all a game, man. It's a terrible game, man. So, yeah, man, uh, brand new institution, nah, that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it, especially for an old time. It's not it. It's a good way to trick your time up, too. Is a good way to trick your time up because, like I say, you got a lot of young dudes. So they just getting in the system. Now, you know what these people, these young dudes, man, they done heard all this stuff on the street about how the penitentiary is, what this be happening, that be happening. So they come in there, a lot of them with that little chip on their shoulder. They ready to show out. They ready to show that I'm a man. I ain't going to let nobody. So they, 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 they be overstepping their bounds. And then they don't know who they be playing with. And they don't know the serious nature of the penitentiary. Like I say, they deep in the game, but they got the rules missing. When I say you deep in the game is you sitting on 30 years, you sitting on 20 years, you sitting on 15 years just coming in the penitentiary. You deep in the game now. You know, you in here whether you want to be or not and you cannot get out. But you don't know the rules. You got to know the rules. They go by what they done seen on TV, what they done seen in a movie, what somebody done told them. Nah, that's incorrect, bro. That's false information. You go in there and you try to do all this stuff from what you done seen on TV and you mess around, you get in there with the old time, you mess around, get in there with somebody been doing 18, 20, 25, 30 years and you going by what you seen on TV and you buck on him or do some foolishness, you're going to get hurt, man. And you might lose your life. I know some dudes that done mess around, man, and um, they done locked themselves in the penitentiary forever for having to hurt a youngin' that didn't know what was going on. Because one of the worst things you can do is spook an old time with dog. You spook him and he, thinking that he going to get hurt, he's going to hurt you, man. You know what I'm saying? He's going to hurt you because that's his normal reaction. That's what kept him alive in the penitentiary all these years. That's what kept him safe all these years. That's the only method that he know. You understand? So 
it, it, it be like that, man. You got to be aware of those type of things, man. You know, it's, it's certain things, man. Like I say, I truly believe without a doubt um, the PTSD is real, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a living example of that, man. It's just certain things that I'm going to react a certain way. And I'm trying to train that stuff out of me, but it ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to react a certain way because this is the only way that I've known to react. So it's in me now. It's like instinct, you know, and that's what these youngers don't understand. When they come into prison, they make these certain type of moves that they think is normal and regular. It's not in the penitentiary, you know. So, you know, brand new institutions usually have a lot of that. They have a lot of that young dudes getting hurt, but people don't know the psychology behind it. It's because they, they put these young dudes on this institution because they're coming in. But in order to fill up these new prisons, they got to put old timers in here too. So they shuffle us around like we cattle. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got no choice but to go wherever they sent us. See, like when I left Wallace Ridge, my points, you know, predicated me going down all the way back down to somewhere like a three, like Greensville or Nottaway or Powhatan or something. They send me straight to River North. Why? That was right there in the street. Why? Because it was brand new and it was opening. So they detoured my transfer just to fill up a bed. Now, I protested and I did what I was supposed to do and I wrote up my paperwork and I had my people call and everything, but to no avail. To no avail. They said, you got to stay here at least a year. We just can't transfer you right now. You just got transferred. Protocol say you got to stay here. Okay, but well, what about my points? Okay, well, you still got to stay here until we can get you. That's what they did. You understand? So it's crazy, man, but it is what it is, and, and that's what it is. And the best thing I can tell you is just don't get caught up in the system. <laughs> do not get caught up in the system, man. You know, don't get caught up in it, man, because it ain't going to do you, do you nothing but dirty straight dirty the system is just gonna do you dirty man you know so that's another reason man like i'm up here right now in south carolina for my grandson graduating from the marines that's why i'm so proud of him that he'll never see these things that i had to see he'll never experience the things that i had to experience you know and that's why i stay on this uh this platform man because i don't want nobody grandson nobody son nobody nephew none of the kids to experience the things that i had to experience man because it's not a good life it's not a good look, man. So stay free, man. Be safe. Be smart. Make good decisions, man. I just wanted to drop that on y'all right fast while I'm on this road. Y'all stay tuned. I'll be back at you in a minute. Should be back home tomorrow. And we back to business, man. Y'all be easy out there, man. Have a great day on purpose, man. Big love, TBP Nation. Y'all stand up, man. We out here. Salute. Let's go. Let's get it. Now, I got to figure out how to get out here. Ah. Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in.